Well, voters in Duval and Clay County passed half cent sales taxes this month to go towards school infrastructure. Both will take effect after the new year. But for those of you wondering tonight how it will impact your purchases, on your sites, Alex Osiris has been crunching the numbers for us. Alex is joining us live now to explain. And Anthony, fewer than 50 days remain until that tax goes into effect. So what about big purchases, whether you make them now or wait until after the new year and into the future? In Duval and Clay, you're paying sales tax of 7%. 6% goes to the state, while one stays with the county. The half cent sales tax adds half a penny per dollar on retail items. So when you go to the grocery store, most of those items are exempt, as well as your prescription drugs. It'll pay for school improvements. Pictures from inside classrooms showing needed repairs. Think of it this way, to add a whole penny onto your cost, you'd have to get a $2 cup of coffee. But what about big ticket items? Cars, boats. Well, discretionary sales tax is kept at $5,000, so with a new car purchase, say it adds about $25 to your bottom line. TVs, say your early Black Friday shopping and come across this 55 inch for $500. $500 multiplied by half a cent, that's $2.50 in added tax. It's estimated the average person making about $56,000 a year will pay an added $6 a month in the new tax. Pricier items could throw off that estimate, but only by a little bit, as you saw in that TV example. For the duration of the half cent sales tax in Duval County of 15 years, paying an average of $6 a month would add about $1,080. Uh, consumers typically see the sales tax as more of a hidden fee that they have to endure and pay a lot more attention to. Um, whether or not they're paying retail price, whether or not they're getting a discount if it's on sale. And Bate says he doesn't believe this is going to have any real impact on consumer spending, whether their habits change or not. He doesn't believe that's going to happen. See more of that coming up tonight on First Coast News at 7. Reporting live in San Marco, Alex Osiris, First Coast News on your side.